Rob McKenzie from the Road Haulage Association, who's joining us now from Weybridge. Rob, good afternoon to you. Hello, Simon. Four weeks to go. Yes, uh, it's very worrying, uh, but terrifying in many ways that the government have had four years to plan for this and they've left it to the last four weeks. It's not good planning. Well, left it to the four weeks, but you still don't know. I mean, your members presumably are messaging you saying, I'm, I'm due to go to Northern Ireland, I'm, I'm due to go to Europe, I, I just don't know what I need. To put it very simply, the government has told us what we have to do, but not how we have to do it. And of course, the how bit is the most important thing when, uh, as Chris Morris was reporting, you know, there is this mountain of red tape that we've not had to do for 50 years or so, that we now have to get our heads around. And, and it's it, the, the, the shocking lack of clarity we've had from the government on this is, is really worrying. And what's even more worrying is the government in their press release today appear to be lining up traders for blame by saying, you know, you, you've got to get ready. Uh, otherwise, by implication, it'll be your fault if something goes wrong, which in all likelihood it probably will. Is it your impression that your members have done everything that they need to do? Well, our members are saying we don't know what we have to do. You know, we don't, we're not clear about the mechanism uh, for all this stuff. We, we know bits of it, but we don't know all of it. And what we want is an end-to-end -end process that takes us from A to Z. And at the moment, there are bits missing and there are bits that aren't clear. And that's not the way business runs. Business runs and logistics runs on a, on a fantastically efficient basis. And suddenly, uh, we're up against a government that's not able to tell us how that will work. It'll end up, at best, shambolic. At worst, uh, you know, we're heading for a catastrophe. What, what, what picture that for me? What does a catastrophe look like on January the 2nd, 3rd, 4th? Well, I think it would probably be delayed a little later into the month because um, the busy time for uh, haulage in January is the back end of the month, not the, not the beginning after the New Year because most of the Christmas stuff has been moved by then. But, you know, what we're talking about here is a, dis a disruption to the supply chain, which would mean perhaps that parts wouldn't arrive uh, in factories for assembly. Uh, it could mean um, it, it could mean that you won't get the things that you want from online. It could mean that there are shortages of some things in the shops. We're not going to run out of food, but uh, there may not be the same range of things in the supermarket that we're used to. Do you share the government's faith in a new IT system, which they seem to be lauding? I absolutely don't. This is untried and, uh, as far as we can tell, untested. The government, as we know, hasn't got a great record in, in IT. And when they start using phrases in their press releases like cutting-edge software, state-of-the-art technology, and expert officials who are monitoring all this, we need to be very, uh, be very wary of that. Truth is, uh, we, most of us haven't seen this IT. We don't know if it talks to other bits of IT which it needs to do. Uh, and it's untried and untested. There isn't a business in the land that would leave it to the last four weeks to introduce a new IT system, is there? Well, would you, in that, on that basis, just want a, a further period of transition, a, a, another six months or something? Well, it's, it's, I think all traders that I've spoken to would say uh, we need a bit more time. Uh, and I think that would be helpful short term. But the danger about, you know, kicking the can down the road is that we'll be in the same place six months from now if the government is not clear about what needs to be done and cannot and can't prove to us that the technology works. You, we, we've got to have clarity of communication and a system that works. And if it, if it works in six months, that's great. But we don't want to be back here six months from now with you asking me all these same questions uh, and me giving all the same answers. Let's not bet against it at this stage. Uh, Rob McKenzie, thank you very much. Good to talk to you.